Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabriel and today we're going to talk about the eighth key to harmonious union. We are at the end of this particular series. Uh, we talked about the other seven keys. So if this is the first video that you're seeing, I highly recommend that you go back and watch the entire series. I also recommend that you pick up Jeff and Shalia's book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover, because that is where these eight keys originate from. And you'll be able to pull out a lot of juicy tidbits that I'm not able to cover in this video. Um, if you uh, pick up the book, you can read it for yourself and go deeper into these concepts. But we are on the last one. And so let's just dive into it. Um, the last uh, key to harmonious union is respect. And this covers uh, a lot of different aspects because you might think it's just respecting your twin flame or it's just like hold it, respecting yourself or some kind of self-respect. And it does encompass those things, but it also is really respecting your experience, respecting your twin flame's choices, respecting God's choices for your life. And Jeff and Julia really do a great job in diving into this. And they they talk about, um, you know, are you going to respect your twin flame's choices? If your twin flame uh, says that they're experiencing something, they, they say, like, I don't love you, and they choose to go uh, be with someone else, or they choose to... Um, you know, do these crazy things, like, are you going to still love them? Are you going to respect that choice? Are you going to try to control them? Um, if God has decided that, like, you're going through an experience and you need to have these lessons to, to learn, are you going to try to control and try to say, no, God, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to do something else or deny that you're in a situation when you're not, like, or when you are, like, uh, if you're going through a painful separation, um, if you are going through a dark night of the soul, like for me right now, like that's something that I'm, I'm actually going through is like this period of time where it's like, I'm experiencing a painful separation and I'm experiencing, um, what looks like my, my life to be falling apart. It looks like, uh, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty with financial security and where I'm going to live and things like that. And, you know, I could look at that as like, oh, what was me? And I could try to control everything. Like, oh no, I need to set everything up. And, uh, you know, I can see that like God is teaching me deeper surrender and deeper trust in him. And like it, at my core, you know, you have to learn to trust that you're going through these, these experiences and for your better good, for the lessons that you're going to learn. And uh, regardless of what it looks like on the outside and you have to respect like okay is my uh you know my twin flame feels like uh they don't love me anymore and uh my outs the outside of my reality looks really bad and I feel like I'm going through a lot acknowledge that respect that that's your experience right now um and respect that your twin flame has has these feelings and is going through this experience what you don't do is say, oh, I respect their their choice, and so that is the truth. That's a different thing. Um, respect for their choices and it, and making that and accepting that as your truth are two different things. Um, and I want to actually read a section of the book here because um, it it really drives that home. It's like, uh, you know, for if you do not respect your twin flame's choices, then you are not loving them unconditionally. You are also not having compassion for them. Be sure to respect the truth in them and not the lies. You respect the truth in them. If one day, for example, they tell you they do not love you anymore and they want nothing to do with you, respect that they are absolutely having that experience. You can do the mirror exercise um, and I'll skip ahead a little bit. Accept this as their experience. Um, but you do not need to accept this as yours. See the truth of the situation and transcend the lie and illusions by choosing love instead. Yeah, like you may go through a lot of 
crazy things on this journey. You might experience these painful things with your twin flame telling you like they're not uh, your twin flame, or you may experience a shaky situation um, in your life purpose work. And, you know, you acknowledge it, but you don't, and you don't accept something that's a lie. That, oh, well, these things are going like crazy in my life. And so that means God has abandoned me. No, it doesn't mean that God has abandoned you. It's actually a lot of times when you go through these dark nights of the soul, these tower moments where everything seems to be falling apart, God is actually pulling these things apart so that things can come together in a much more loving and compassionate way. A lot of times if we build um, things without God, if we like do things based on control or trying to fill a void or doing things... Um, you know, to fix a relationship or to, or you're doing something out of fear or you're trying to give yourself security by um, doing a lot of things outside of you or by trying to change the situation that you're in. Um, that is where uh, that's not worth it. That's, that's where like those things that you do and anything that you manage to build out of control, it's going to fall apart. And um, I've seen that firsthand in my own experience is like control is never, ever, ever, ever worth it. And it can be a challenge to move through because I think, at least in my experience, it's like, you know, you choose to surrender and then there's that part of you, that, that ego that's not even actually part of you that tries to convince you that it's safer if you just do it all yourself. Oh, God has abandoned you, so you have to do something. Um, you know, it uses a lot of tricks and anxiety to try to convince you to do something. And if you give in to that and say, oh yeah, I have to like change my situation. I have to do all these things. Um, no, if you leave your peace, then all of that will eventually crumble because you're doing it without God. If you've built a house, if you've built your relationship, if you've built, um, even if you call in your twin flame using control, and not respecting um, how you feel, not expecting your experiences, not expect, not respecting God's choices for you, then all of that has to fall away and you have to do it with love. So the easiest thing to do and the most compassionate thing to do and the most unconditionally loving thing to do is to surrender to the journey and respect uh, your path and the lessons that you and your twin flame have to learn. Um, it's not always easy and it's not always uh, going to feel like the best thing ever. It could be a, an experience that feels really bad, but at the same time, like you have the choice to choose peace in those moments. You have the choice to choose um, your power in that peace and know and trust in God and use that to deepen your trust in the work and and deepen your trust in God that he will bring you through anything that you encounter on this journey and that you are one with your twin flame. You're already one. You're already in love. You're already married in spiritual truth and that anything that your twin flame presents to you that, that is counter to that, even physical separation, um, that isn't the lie and it's not actually the truth. And you can just see it for what it is as a learning opportunity and um, a chance and, and a place to, that you just need more love and to let go of the illusion of separation there. Um, yeah, like this is, this is a really powerful one. And I, I think, um, you know, it just, you have to just honor where you're at, no matter where you are. And in that just encompasses um, so much, like more than just, I think, what respect, uh, the textbook definition of what respect means. It's really honoring where you're at in any situation. And um, even also honoring your successes if you're doing really well. Um, you know, it's not, there's a difference between being uh, humble in uh, your success and being uh, self-defeating, 
right? Like you have to honor the fact that you're doing really well when you're doing really well and honor, uh, you know, where things feel shitty when they feel shitty and then move through that experience accordingly. Um, and it just takes patience and compassion and, <laughs> and unconditional love and all the things that all these eight keys are. And that's what it takes to have a, an unstoppable, uh, loving union where you feel safe to be your complete authentic self and that you can continue to deepen and grow into love. And I, I highly, again, and to encourage you to go back and watch all of these. I encourage you to read this, uh, this book, Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover by Jeff and Shalia. Um, it'll change your life if you haven't read it already. And if you've already read it, um, read it again, um, because you cannot master these enough right? Um, when you've mastered this, um, you go deeper with yourself, you go deeper with God, you go deeper with your twin flame. And it's not just with your twin flame that these keys will help you. It'll help you in all aspects of your life because you do want to apply them. Um, respect for others is really important. Even if you're setting boundaries, even if you're, um, you know, needing to, uh, you know, cut someone out of your life because they aren't loving you, like respect, unconditional love, honesty, trust, all those things extend far beyond union and harmonious union and just help you become your true divine self and honor um, the child of God that you are. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and ring the notification bell for um, when other uh, videos on this channel are up uploaded. If uh, you are experiencing any type of challenges or if you're just looking for additional support on your Twin Flame journey, um, I offer asc Ascension Coaching, both individual sessions and group coaching, as well as Oracle card readings, personalized Oracle card readings um, to help you fast track your journey and come into harmonious union for yourself. If those services interested, interest you, you can find them at sacredtoneflameunion.com and I will see you in the next video.